everybody and welcome back to Southeast by Midwest. I'm Cassie and today we are going to be talking about the Lights Lacquer Little Ornament Polishes. There are two of them. There Actually there's three of them but I picked up two of them. Um, so we have these kind of greener shades, we have these red shades, and then there's also one with treatments. Um, I'm going to give you some information about where, where are these from, if they're permanent, and all that kind of thing, but I wanted to kind of give you a look at both of these because while I'm covering this set this week and this set next week, I don't know if this set will still be available next week. So if you want to kind of get a look at these and decide on if you want to go on ahead and pick this set up after you see how this one swatches, uh, I want you to kind of get a look at that, but come back next week for swatches of these. So if you're interested in hearing more about these and seeing these swatches, just keep watching. As always here on Southeast by Midwest, before we jump in to content, we always disclose and the disclosure for this uh, video and blog post is that there's nothing disclosed. I purchased these with my own money. All right, so let's get started in talking about these. These are the um, Lights Lacquer little ornament. This one specifically is the Up to Snow Good collection and each one is behind a little door. Lights Lacquer, if you did not know, is the nail polish company started by Kathleen Lights. I'll link her channel down below. Uh, with these, these were uh, launched in her advent calendar. She did release these outside of the advent calendar, but I believe these are supposed to still just be limited edition. You can only get them during this season. These retail for $15 for each trio. So it's $15 for this trio. It's $15 for the red trio. And I think the trio of treatments um, is $18. That is a matte top coat and then a nail strengthener and then just an overall nail uh, treatment that's got like vitamin E and hyaluronic acid in it is what the treatments are. Before we jump into swatching, I want to go over what I'll be using in between. Now you can see a lot of this in my at home Manny video, which I will link down below. But to take off each round of polish and to take off my previous nail polish, I use the Zoya Remove Plus. I prefer the pump bottle one just because it's easier. I will then be using the OPI Nail Envy Nail Strengthener Base Coat. I do have the Lights Lacquer uh, Top and Base Coat, but I haven't had a chance to test them out even though I've had them for like a year now. But this will be the base coat that I'm using. And then on one hand, I will be using the OPI Rapid Dry, and then I'll also be using the OPI Matte Top Coat, so you can see what each one looks like, glossy and matte. I will be doing any cleanup with the Onyx 100% Pure Acetone Remover, and I like to use a e.l.f. Concealer Brush, which has a tip like this for cleanup around the cuticles. I zoomed you guys in a little closer so that you could see the bottles. This is what it looks like. It has lights lacquer on the front and then the name of the polish is on the back. I think I might have to zoom you guys back out. All you can see is my porky little fingers. I'm really hoping that the... Okay, good. It's smaller, but her brush tip stayed that same kind of rounded... shape which I like okay this is horrible from this angle so we're just gonna do two nails on camera so that it's not incredibly horrible so that's one coat we'll come back for the second coat and you can see the actual static photos over on the blog post link down below so there is the first coat now we're gonna go in with a second coat again I'll show you on the first two nails. And I kind of really evened out that patchiness right there and the streakiness. And there we go. And I'll do the rest. And again, the finished photos with the two top coats will be over on the blog post. In case I forgot to mention it, this was Shade Buddy, which I believe she named 
after the movie Elf. The next polish that we're going to be doing is Snowboy, which looks to be this kind of like duo multi-chrome polish. I do apologize if you hear any talking in the background. Um, Travis has a wound back on and his nurse is here to change the bandage. So these next couple clips are going to be kind of quick and short. So here we go. We're going to do a little fluff. We're going to do one coat. There we go. And we're going to hit it. By the way, um, this is a little stiffer of a polish than what the creams are. I just want to mention that it doesn't glide on the nail quite as easily. So there's one coat. All right. So that's the first coat dried. And now we're going to go in with the second coat. In all honesty, this one looks so good with the two coats that you almost don't need a top coat. The last polish for this collection is the Got You Cookie. That's gonna be our first coat. And I'll be back for the second. All right, now let's come in for the second coat of Got You Cookie. And again, per usual with the Lights Lacquer, the first coat is a little streaky, but the uh, second coat comes in and just evens it up very nicely. So as you can see, this is kind of like a pale yellow off-white. This is the shade I have been looking for a polish like this. So the finished swatches will be over on the block and I'll be back for the outro here shortly. Hopefully you found this video fun and informative. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. It really does help. Remember, if you want to leave a comment, the blog post link down below is where you're going to do that. Like I said, these are very, they're supposed to be very limited edition and they are, this little bundle here is $15 over on the Lights Lacquer website along with the red set. Again, next week I will swatch the um, red set, but if you want to get either of these, you might want to go on ahead and purchase them now. So until next time, bye.